morning. Okay, it's not really morning. It's actually like quarter to five. But I woke up with a massive headache today. And when I get headaches, like, they start here in the back, like by my shoulder. And then they go up my head and then behind my eye. Um, and they're usually caused by like one of three things. So either I aspartame or didn't drink enough water or there's like change in the atmosphere. There's probably more reasons, but those are the three reasons that I can come up with. And I think it's the fact that the weather's changing, changing, changing all the time. So I try to take care of it naturally. With put a, I usually just put a cold washcloth on my head and sleep in the air conditioning. And I took ibuprofen and it's not helping. So I finally broke down and I went and got a kit. I got some Gatorade and uh, pineapple and banana smoothie because I heard those both those those fruits help take away headaches and some ice cream. Um, I'm thinking that once the sun goes down, I'm gonna be more full of energy and I'll do something special for you guys. Alright, so it's like midnight now and my headache basically didn't go away for most of the day. So I didn't do anything fun and exciting today. Um, and I said I was going to do something fun for you guys, but that's a lie. What I'm about to do is not fun, but it's necessary. I think, um, I'm the kind of person that will often keep my opinions to myself. I don't talk about things unless I feel like I'm educated enough to talk about them for one. I think that's very important that you should know what you're talking about before you state an opinion. But this is something that I don't want to stay silent about and I feel led to tell people. So if you're watching this then you're about to hear my opinion on America and the Syrian refugees. So um, I woke up today and on my Facebook I saw just a ton of people reposting letters from governors of states who were refusing to take Syrian refugees. They outright said they will not take them because they feel like by taking them, they are putting the citizens of their, their states in danger. Okay, so what? No. Is it an increased risk of an attack? Maybe. But these are people whose lives are being threatened every single day. These are people who don't know if they're going to wake up in the morning. These are people who are struggling to stay warm in the winter. The winter's coming, you know? And and you're just like, no, if I take you, there's a chance that somebody might attack my city. When did America stop becoming the place where people can come? When did the saying, give me your tired, your poor, and your huddled masses, suddenly turn into a false advertisement? Okay? Like, this is just absolutely ridiculous. And the problem is, is that people are reposting this and they're re-saying, like, like, I agree and I'm scared and they're saying stuff, but they haven't even looked into the facts. Fact. In the last four years, America has taken on approximately 1,500 refugees from Syria. 1,500. Okay. That's like less than 500 people a year. Fact, Turkey has taken on 1.9 million people. Yes, Turkey is closer. Yes, it's easier for them to get there. But that's not the point. The point is, is that we are actually refusing to let people in. And it's because people say that there's lack of security. That's not true. It takes two years for somebody from Syria to go through the process of getting to America because they're being vetted, they're being checked, their backgrounds are being checked to see if they're involved in terrorism. And the fact is, is it's not easy. It's not like we're going to say, okay, we're taking in 45,000 people tomorrow. That's not how it works. So I encourage you to go out, and if you're confused by all of this, just Google it. It's not hard. You know how to use Google. You know? Like, go out there, educate yourself about it. Don't just repost something because you think it looks cool or you think you agree with it. Figure it out for yourself, find out your stance yourself, and then when you find it out, let me know what it is. Put it down there, right there in the comments, because the fact is, is that so many more problems would be solved if people would just educate themselves. Okay? 
do it. Now. I'm sorry. I felt very strongly about that. And I know a lot of people aren't going to agree with me. I've already been told by several people from my hometown that I am blinded by the truth because I'm not in the U.S. and I don't understand what's going on there. But, it's alright. Um, tomorrow is going to be good. Tomorrow, we're going to go on with our lives. And, um, peace out, guys. I love you all. This is me giving my two cents, okay? And really, can you beat it? Like, I might not hear every day.